Gender discrimination and competitiveness played against the revolutionary ideas of some pioneering female scientists. This was the case of Cecilia Payne, a woman who studied in Cambridge and moved to the United States in order to conduct some research at the Harvard Observatory. In her thesis, she got to the conclusion that the sun was made out of 99% hydrogen, but one of her colleagues, Henry Norris Russell, persuaded her to withdraw that fact and claim credit for that discovery years later. Same thing happened to Marc Gauthier, a French medical doctor and researcher who discovered the causes of the Down syndrome. To this day, she still states that she was the one who found out about the existence of the 47th chromosome and that her colleague Jérôme Lejeune took credit for it in 1959. Then there's Liz Meitner, the most obvious case of a scientific discovery made by a woman and ignored by the Nobel Prize Committee. She discovered nuclear fission in 1938, but it was Otto Hahn, one of her colleagues, who got the Nobel Prize six years later for this finding. After that, the US government tried to recruit her for the Manhattan Project, to which she replied, I don't want anything to do with a bomb. Astronomer Jocelyn Bell always tried to downplay her controversial exclusion from the Physics Nobel Prize of 1974. She helped building a radio telescope at the University of Cambridge and started studying signals from deep space until the day she noticed strange signals coming from a neutron star. It was her supervisor, Anthony Hewish, who got the award for the discovery of pulsars. And finally, Rosalind Franklin. She was the author of the famous Photograph 51, one of the key pieces in the discovery of the DNA structure. She died of cancer, probably because she didn't use any protection against X-rays in her lab, and neither Wilkins, nor Watson, nor Craig mentioned her name or contribution in their Nobel Prize acceptance speech. 